That's tight enough. Um, any more than that, I've done this enough times, that lock tab, locating tab, will break off. And I'm not doing that shit again. Not right now. So. Uh, okay, give me my phone clamp. Uh, you see we've got the tab with the crack in it is lined up. This tab not quite lined up. Uh, we can't back it off because you need that torque on the lock nut. So what we do with this is we're gonna bend it over and force it to conform to this left angle on the nut. And we're gonna do the same thing right here. And this is gonna be our last use of this lock tab. Like I said, they're, they're good for usually three bearing services. Uh, if you're gentle with them. Um, I could probably use that one too. Uh, but it's already weakened. It's been used a couple times, I'm sure. So, let me see if I can reset my rigged up phone holder so you can see what I'm doing here. Now, this is why I specified earlier the pair of channel locks. It can be very useful for this because you can grab the lock tab just to get it started and use it to pull it down. And uh, don't worry, you're not going to fuck up that axle shaft spline because it's way harder than these channel locks are. Same thing on this other one on the side. Okay. Now your goal with those isn't to bend them completely down. It's just to get them far enough over that you can use your brass dowel rod to flatten them out. Or your brass drift to flatten them out against the nut. And you use brass you don't damage the tab itself. Straight in from the side. Kind of hit yourself in the hand. And make sure it's well flattened against the nut. That's the only thing that keeps these nuts from coming off and your wheel from flying down the road in front of you. Saying goodbye, I'll see you later if you live. So, make sure, make damn sure that your lock tabs are all the way seated against the lock nut. After that, I'll take another handful of grease, and I'm out of gloves now. Um, and I will completely pack this cavity right here, around the wheel bearing, and the nuts. And I'll put some more fresh grease in the hub itself, and push the hub on. Let it squeeze out whatever excess grease it's going to squeeze out the outside. When it does that, it's also pushing fresh grease down into the spindle. Get it like you want it. Put your bolts in and suck it up with the gun. Put your tire and wheel back on. Give it a good hard spin. See how long it runs. It should run for about 25 to 30 seconds spinning on its own. Anyway. That's, now my woman is over there standing at the gate calling me for something. Um, I hope that's a good enough explanation for you guys. I am going to make more videos on the hubs on this truck, on these trucks. Um, this hasn't exactly all gone to plan today. It's not the best video. Um, but it should give you a good starting point. Uh, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'll be glad to get back to you and answer them as soon as I can. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the page. Share it with your friends. I'd appreciate it a lot. Uh, and have a good day, and I'll see you guys on the next one.